Hey everybody, welcome back to another video's channel and today we talk about Nuxt 4 and how you can migrate to it now. But wait, it's it's not it's not out yet, right? Still, you can do that and let's figure out how. Here we go. Yes, you've seen it right, not only my hair's short, but also the waiting time until the new Nuxt 4 major release is getting closer and closer and closer. While it was originally planned for Q1, it was now moved to Q2. To be more precise, to around June 14th or maybe earlier. That also depends a bit on the UnJS packages that get a few new major versions, so we want to align there to make sure everything will go smooth and it allows for making changes. But of course, there was a long article about the vision in 2024 and what happened in 2023 with regard to, uh, to, to Nuxt and its future, uh, really worth taking a look at. So, a link as usual in the description. It's a really good article highlighting what happened, uh, what the plan is, and so on and so on, especially with official release dates, um, how ongoing support for Nuxt 3 will be, etc, etc. But let's talk a little bit about the future, and as I said in the intro, that we can migrate to Nuxt 3, no wait, to Nuxt 4 already, right? I hope you did migrate to Nuxt 3 already, unless otherwise it's time. The good thing is, Nuxt 3... Well, we had quite some issues with the migration, right? I mean, as I've shown in uh, my my slides and some meetups, people are still traumatized and I understand it. I definitely feel that, right? Like we all feel a bit like breaking changes. Huh, it's tricky. But the good news is that's not a problem, at least not that much with Nuxt 4 because there are way less moving pieces, right? And Nuxt 4 as a major version should focus on exactly that, like breaking changes once a year allows us to clean up some stuff, to give you better defaults and to make things easier for the everyday developer. For example, also bringing performance improvements that are hidden behind the flag at the moment. And of course, everybody's concerned about migration, right? And everyone on the team and also other people like, um, for example, Matt from uh, LearnView, we all try to focus on next four shouldn't be a big marketing hype. It's really about breaking changes and we will continue shipping amazing features in all the miners, right? Like we did before. So Nux4 will still have to migrate at some point, right? And the good thing is you can do that already. So while we're trying to improve things with an extensive migration guide at the time we released and also beforehand, so we'll give some key points here and there, and the list of issues that you can see already, which probably will end in 4.x, or at least are in a discussion, also that, so let me quickly show that. And all the issues you've seen here, as I said, are up for discussion and might or might not be implemented. Some are already closed and we'll come to that in a second because the good thing is, as I mentioned, you can already migrate to some things, some of the breaking changes of Nuxt 4 already. But how does it work? Well, there is a new flag in the house, a new compatibility flag called Future. Let's take a look how that works in demo application, what it enables at the time of recording and how you can make use of it and also debug things if things break. Let's check it out. Before we dive into it, I have to mention that I'm using the nightly version of Nuxt at the time of recording because the future flag will be released in the next minor version of Nuxt.js, which is version 3.12. But in the meantime, if you say, hey, okay, I want to use these cool future flags already and try things out, you can switch to nightly channel. Documentation that is also a link included in the description how to do it, but it's pretty easy. You just swap out the NPM, uh, the package JSON definition, for Nuxt with another. Let me quickly show you. In the code it's already done, usually you would have a Nuxt version here like 3.11.2 or at least 3. Point whatever, and you just swapped it out with npm colon Nuxt nightly at latest. So you say you alias the Nuxt nightly latest release to Nuxt. Now all you just have to do is reinstall the dependencies and you're good to go. This is especially visible if we check out the console. When starting, we see Nuxt 3.12 and then uh, some hashes, same for Nitro. So we are here on the nightly channel. Lovely. And what does the nightly channel bring us? Well, the nightly channel gives us pretty cool options like testing out new commits and it's all ran through our test suite, so it's also relatively stable. But in case of migrating to Nuxt 4 already, well, we can do the following thing. In here, in our Nuxt config, which is minimal as usual, we could even remove these, but it's fine. Um, there is a new top level option called future in here and future is as the description says, for early opting into new features that will become the default in the future, possibly major version, right? So these are things that are definitely going to happen and you can already opt in. So what we can do is we can set a compatibility version here and by default it's on three, right? But we can set it to four. 
And now we save it. And that's all it does, right? So testing the new things, the breaking changes that Nuxt 4 brings us is re really just these three lines of codes and the Nuxt 19 channel in case 3.12 is not out yet. Uh, if it is, I will also mention it below, of course. So that's cool, right? We can test things and what happens if, if things break and which features are actually covered under that compatibility version flag? How can we have maybe some fine grain control um, over, well, selecting maybe the features we want to test so we don't get errors of errors? First of all, the good thing is you probably won't get that many errors because, well, most of the features at the time of recording, they are really, okay, we switch some defaults. For example, we don't use a ref for data and use async data and use fetch anymore. We use a shallow ref, performant. And if you don't know what shallow ref is yet, I also talked about that in a video. You, you'll find it, you know where. Nevertheless, there are also some things like removing deprecated things. And step by step, of course, they're also coming more and more changes. So let's have a look into the PR and how to fine grainly enable the other things that we need. The PR that enables these opt-in future flag with the compatibility version is number 26,925. And the good thing is it comes with a set of four updates here. And these are pretty common things. So uh, we remove some legacy things in NuxKit. We set deep to false. That's the performance improvement I talked about before. We remove the template utils and also emit absolute paths in bulleted watch. So the good thing is these are included. You can check all the issues. Um, most of them I actually is interesting. Um, that uh, will cover why exactly or which parts. Lots of them are just legacy. And the nice part is that in here, Daniel describes it very well to enable all the changes we set that future flag, and we did that already. But if we say like, okay, we only want to set a few things on or we re-enable stuff, then we can do that with an experimental flag. So let's copy this real quick into our code and have a look how this works. So by default, this future flag will actually enable all the changes for the future. But if we say, okay, hey, let's disable a new change, then we'll do the following. We have these experimental flags next to things like uh, Nuxt Island, server component, and so on, so on. You know, we have things like compile template, template utils, and all of them being uh, actually related to one of the changes. So it also says here very clearly, this flag will be removed with the release of E4 and exists only for advanced testing with in Nuxt version 3.12 and further. So the good thing is in case you say, okay, yes, what if I want to, for example, um, test the bug that only occurs when I have the compile template, right? Then you only set that to true to say like, okay, let's re-enable that feature. The future flag disables all the features uh, that will be removed, but re-enable this legacy feature. So just to make it clear, this re-enables the legacy feature. And you can do this with, with all of them and then step-by-step step, um, set them to false or remove them, right? That's also a way you could even fully omit the future flag and just opt in granularly. The good thing is that's fully up to you. So my recommendation would be set a future flag and see if things work, right? If your tests are passing, I hope you have tests, right? Otherwise, check out the Nuxt test, test Utils Primer, very worth the, the wizard and watch. But um, yeah, then see if a test pass, see if things work and you're good to go. If you encounter some issues, first, please let us know if it's not something super obvious, right? And other than that, then you can granularly enable things. Of course, don't forget to pin the version because um, obviously we're working on more things that fall under that future flag. So definitely have a look into change logs of minor versions or also patch versions that might change things. So that's also a note there for stability. Nevertheless, Yes, you can migrate to Nuxt 4 already, at least to some degree, to the degree that's already there, right? Where we know these changes will happen. So don't lose any time. Try out the Nuxt release if you want to and migrate or wait to 3.12. That's up to you. Nevertheless, that's uh, it with the overview of the future flag. And I'm very happy to see that and hope that the extensive migration guide will also be helpful as well as if that works out for some scenarios, code mods, right? So. Any questions left, maybe with regards to Nuxt 4, migration, whatever, please drop it down below. Um, let me know, I'll answer off the comments. And other than that, feel free to check out the latest Deja View episode as usual. Link, you know where to find it. And then we'll see here or watch us next week again for another video. Stay safe and happy hacking folks.